got an electric crowd here in Golden State's Oracle Arena. We'll see Cleveland facing the Golden State Warriors. We're all set to bring you NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and here with me tonight, Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So on the floor for Cleveland. J.R. Smith and LeBron at the two and three. Kevin Love out there with Tristan Thompson. And it's Irving at the one spot. Kyrie Irving, an explosive scorer. We all know that. His rate of assist continually dropping over his NBA career. And, and Greg, does he need to be more of a pure point guard? He, you know, he does have the advantage of playing with LeBron James, one of the best playmakers in the league. It, it's a good fit, I think, at this stage of his career because right now they need him to score the basketball while he continues to improve his point guard skills. Love with the screen for Irving. The shot is off, and Golden State will go the other way with it. And Curry has it in the corner. Barnes kicks to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. On the wing, Thompson. Pass to Barnes. Five on the clock. Green dishes to Thompson. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Stolen by Thompson. And here they go. Smith gets it to go on the assist by Irving. Yes, this is excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition, to attack when it's there, because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Offensive rebound, love. And that one's good. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Now here's Thompson. Barnes kicks to Curry and stolen by Irving. James, the pass to Smith. Here's Irving. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Kyrie Irving may be the best ball handler in the league. There are a lot of guys with a good handle. He is definitely in the top five. If not, he's got to be in the conversation. And arguably the most talented oh. player at his position. I mean, he can get wherever he wants to on the court. He's athletic, an unbelievable finisher as well. I think that's something that oftentimes gets underrated. Maybe the best finisher in the game. Agreed. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. And you know, Kyrie Irving, really ambidextrous as a ball handler because you can't play him to one side, and he's ambidextrous as a finisher, too. He's so creative and crafty. Terrific at the rim with both hands. Thompson dishes to Barnes. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. And, and really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds. Curry kicks to Green. Pass to Barnes. Four on the clock. Thompson in the corner. It's taken away by Smith. 13 feet away. That one a tad yes. offline to the right, but drops in for him. And one thing about Irving's ball handling, he does a great job of protecting the ball. A very low rate of turnovers for a player as aggressive as he is on the bounce. Now here's Curry. Green passes to Barnes. Green dishes to Bogut. And it's going to be a three-second call. Cleveland with the ball. It's been 10 unanswered points. No one near James as he lets it go. That ball's great assist by Love. LeBron's got himself on the board with three there. And, and really, the Warriors had an amazing regular season last year. Just from a historical standpoint, it was one of the best ever. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And for the Warriors last year, they would end the season with 67 wins. That number, Clark, tying for the sixth best win total in NBA history. And my guess is only a few people saw it coming. I mean, and as the season wore on, it became more and more apparent 
that the Warriors were for real, but it took a while for people to accept that fact. Warriors trail by 13. Outside Curry. To the inside. And Thompson kicks to Bogut. Thompson passes to Bogut. Back to Thompson. Bogut dishes to Thompson. Now the feed to Barnes. Thompson in the corner. To the paint. Just three to shoot. Back to Barnes. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. The Cavaliers leading by 13. And a wide open look for Irving. And that one comes up a bit short. So it's the Warriors now. Looking for their first basket of the game. And guys, nice to see Bogut out there given all the injuries that he's had to overcome in his career. Just glad to see him at full strength. Now here is Smith. Pass to Love, 18 feet out. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Golden State moving it around. Green kicks to Barnes. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. Curry can't get it to go. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. 151 left here in the first quarter. And that one's good, Irving. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And that's why they're on this run. You get that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to make shots. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And that one spot the Cavs did struggle with last year was help off the bench. They were last in the league in bench scoring. Bates comes in for Andrew Bogut. And it's Iguodala in for Barnes. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Mozgov, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. Fry comes in for Kevin Love. Shumpert, he's checked in for J.R. Smith. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Kyrie Irving. Cavs not scoring with a lot of their bench. A big part of that is they just didn't uh, go to their bench very often. Well, you talk about the Cavs and the bench near the bottom in total bench minutes played. The bench didn't have a lot of firepower, didn't shoot the ball well, and considering they got limited minutes, oftentimes struggled to find any kind of rhythm out there. And that one's good, Shumpert. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Cavaliers. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also, they're jumping on a lot of turnovers, making sure they turn them into points at the other end. LeBron against Green, dishes it to Fry. Good, and the assist goes to James. Assist they haven't been able to stifle him defensively here. No, to the contrary. They haven't provided much resistance at all. And in this game, you've got to play both ends of the floor. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. 
Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. Terrible turnover. Leandro Barbosa, he's checked in for Golden State. Livingston comes in for Steph Curry. The Cavaliers leading by 20. Delavidova dishes to Mozgov. On the wing, James. He's covered by Igudala. Fry passes to Mozgov. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg. And as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. Barbosa kicks to Igudala. On the wing, it's Igudala. Barbosa dishes to Igudala. It's tipped and stolen by Fry. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock, and that one's good, Shumpert. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Over in the corner, Green. Spades the pass to Iguodala. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Nine seconds left to play in the first quarter. Leandro Barbosa on the wing. And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. Cavaliers ahead, running away with it. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Let's take a and we got a chance to hear from LeBron.